presentation, we decided to cover stock price predictions on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, our project, so what basically what we did was we utilized uh, recurrent neural networks and TensorFlow to uh, predict uh, future prices for the stock in, in the for stocks in the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, we had five different steps. First, you had to import the libraries, analyze the data, manipulate the data, model and see the validation of the data and then predict the outcomes. So our first step was importing the library. So we mounted Google Drive and we picked out the stock price data source and imported them and then printed out the information. And this is what our data was looking like. So with the describe method and the tail method, you can see um, basically what our data looked like and the volume of the stock and the dates for when the stock uh, was taken from. So then we used pandas to analyze the data and here's what the plot looks like. And uh, after analyzing our data, we had a few next steps for manipulating the data and we chose the specific stock. Then we used a, the feature for volume for our prediction. Then we had to normalize our stock and then finally create the train and validation and test sets. So you can see um, on the right, you can see the X train, Y train, X valid, Y valid, and X test, Y test, like the values that we've done in class. <clears throat> Here, for example, we choose the state, the stock EQ, EQIX, I believe Equinix is the name of the company, and normalize it with the code on the left, and then we created training and testing data. That the graph shows what we got after manipulating the data. Eight. And after that, we had to model and validate our data. And you can see the parameters that we used. We used uh, inputs, we used 200 neurons, and we used uh, epochs to the size of 100. Uh, our loss function was mean squared error for this project. Yeah. And with our model complete, we started to run it. And this is what we got. We, yeah. I believe we got a pretty, wait, yeah. Yeah, so after running it, um, you can see basically in these graphs, you can see the predictions and you can see the training test, training, validating and testing values. Somewhat low, but that's because I think there were a lot of entries. So yeah. Thanks for listening. And of course the GitHub re re repo is linked below.